Hey everyone, this is Andrew, and today we're going to be going over Vibe Input. We're going to be going over the trigger, the touchpad, as well as the grip buttons. So let's get started. I've already gone ahead and imported the SteamVR plugin into my project. If you have not, go to the Asset Store, type in SteamVR plugin, download the assets, and import them into your project. Once the package has been imported, you want to go ahead and go down to Prefabs and drag the Camera Rig Prefab out into your scene. I've also gone ahead and created a script that I've called Vive Input and attached it to both the left and the right controller sub-objects under the camera rig. Now we're going to open up Visual Studio and look at some of the input code. So this is a pretty straightforward script. We have the ValVR namespace at the top and a couple of public variables where we're going to be storing a SteamVR tracked object as well as a SteamVR device. And in the awake function, we're just getting the tracked object component that is also attached to the controller game object. We're then going to get the index of that tracked object and pass this to the Steam VR controller manager so we can then pull the device. The control manager is located on the camera rig prefab that we previously dropped in our scene. So now I'm going to go ahead and open up this trigger region that's going to contain the if statements for our touch down and our touch up. And it's very similar to how Unity's normal key input would work where you would just pass it a key code. In this case, we're just passing it a button mask. And in this case, it's the trigger. We can also get the value at which the trigger is being pressed. You can see that it is being returned in a vector two. And within that vector 2, you're going to want to get the x value. The y never changes. And now we're going to collapse that trigger region and open up the grip region. As you can probably tell, it's very similar to the trigger region. The only real difference is that we're passing in a different button mask. Instead of it being the trigger, it's the grip. Moving on to the touchpad, it's very similar to the trigger and the grip, except we're passing in the touchpad button mask. And like the trigger, the touchpad also can produce a value, which is returning a vector too. But in this case, you want to pay attention to both the X and the Y. Here, you can see how the vector two is mapped to the touchpad. Now let's watch our input in action. And as you can see, we have the up and down states for the trigger, the grip, and the touchpad. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time.